Hi, Lakers. How's your week going, Alex? Good. How's yours? It's late. Let's get started. Just another reminder that Prospective Student Open House will be on Tuesday, November 29th at 6.30 to 8.35 p.m. at Southwest High School. If you know prospective students, let them know about the open house. 2023 yearbooks are now on sale. Books are $65 until December 31st, and then the price will increase, so don't wait. This year's book will increase by 80 pages. Seniors, get your glamour shots ASAP. Submit photos by scanning QR code and uploading to Google Form. Remember to follow the guidelines. If you still need your 2022, 2021, 2020, or 2019 yearbook, please see Ms. Strand in room E107. Robin Hood was performed by Unhinged in the Southwest Black Box Theater. This performance was produced by students. It ran from November 4th to 6th. Here's a quote from a happy theater goer. If you want laughs, fun, and surprises, and audience participation, this show is for you. Big shout out to the cast and crew. The show was a huge success. It was the best way to spend a Wednesday night. Bravo. The visit happened on November 10th through November 12th in the Southwest Auditorium. It was also great fun. Thank you directors, cast, and crew for bringing some tragic comedy to Southwest. Dance performances are happening on the 1st and 2nd of December in the Southwest Auditorium. The winter dance performances are hosted by the Southwest Performing Arts Program and will feature dances from all the companies. Let's hear a little about what we can expect from some of the dancers. My name is Ms. Brown and I am the dance teacher here at Southwest. I'm Ava. I'm a senior this year um, and I'm one of the DC3 captains. Aoife. Hi, I'm Ariana and we're dancers in Dance Company 3. In case you didn't know, we have a dance program and our Dance Company 1, 2, and 3 classes will be performing all of the choreography that they've been working on this fall in our Winter Dance Concert, which is performed Thursday, December 1st at 7 p.m., as well as Friday, December 2nd at 7 p.m. in our Southwest Auditorium. Um, we're really excited for the winter performance and showcases. We will have pieces performed in contemporary hip-hop, and jazz, and we hope that you join us for the show. Really excited to show our group choreography from an outside choreographer who's a professional. And I'm excited to perform our duets that are self-choreographed by students at Southwest. The show is free. We also will be having an in-school performance if your teachers decide to sign up. So teachers, sign up for the school shows on December 2nd, 5th, or 6th hours. It'll be a lot of fun. You should come watch. Thank you, dancers. It's going to be a great show. Now let's hear how the guitar concert went. Love that melody. I wish I could play guitar. Alex, what's your favorite chord? I have no idea, but in my opinion, they're playing all the chords right. Nice. Now for a great pop culture debate regarding Call of Duty versus 2K with Levi, Ayub, Zaki, and Nerdin. This should be good. Yo, you bought the new COD game? Nah, I bought the new 2K game, bro. What, bro? God, you're way more fun. You're in action the whole game. Never nah, before. bro. 2K makes it seem like you in the league. You can create your own player and everything. No! <laughs> I think COD better because you gotta how like you gotta calculate your shots, you gotta aim, you gotta know what you're shooting at. Yeah. Oh, good. COD got too much violence in it. Two K is more friendly, and more peaceful. That other robots. Alex, which do you think is better? I like sports. I'll go with two K. Let's move on to Southwest Sports with Tori and Tamara. In 612 Mountain Bike Team Summary, after a seven-year run finishing in the top three spots every year and finishing in the first, second, or third place in all but four races since 2015, Southwest finishes the season in 16th place out of 28 teams in their division and 89 teams in the state. What a run. The way we look at it, it is a rebuilding year. Please congratulate the riders as they grind forward. Our very own Sam Scott plays second in the Cross Country Boys 3A Final. The state meet was Saturday, November 5th at St. Olaf College. Sam Scott, Ben Baldwin, Nate Meyer, and Natalia Graham competed at this rainy and cold meet. Despite the weather conditions, Sam placed second, Nate placed 34th, Ben placed 37th, and Natalia 133rd. Sam was close to winning the meet, but Aiden Jones from Washburn pulled ahead at the last hill, beating him by a mere three seconds. 
Still a nice finish for Sam and Southwest. Love that sportsmanship, Sam. Congratulations to Sam for making the podium and the rest of the runners for competing at such a high level. Girls Volleyball were in section finals on November 3rd. They played against Burnsville. The games were close and competitive. The star performers were Mia Weaver and Lola Beck. Unfortunately, Burnsville came out on top, ending the season run. Great job, Southwest Girls Volleyball team, for working so hard and having such a successful season. We'll miss seniors Tamara Ozels, Ava Van Belkenberg, and Jaden Guzman next year. Thanks for the sports update, Tamara and Tori. That's all the news for this edition. Have a lovely break, everyone. Make sure to tune in next time to stay up to date with all things Lakers. Bye, Lakers! Bye, Lakers.